Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest iOS. So, first of all, let's just go into settings. In settings, I want you guys to make a uh, backup on your iCloud, just in case. But uh, it's a small update, so if you don't want to, you can maybe skip it. Anyways, I would recommend anyways, just in case you guys have to restore um, if something goes bad, right? So let's just go right into general. And there you guys see the second option, software update. Now this will take a little bit loading up. So first of all, you guys are going to have to download and then install. So let's just scroll down and it says download and install. So let's just tap on there. Now it's supposed to ask you for a passcode. If you guys have one, if you don't have one, no need to put anything in. Now, once you put this in, this update should not take more than five to 10 minutes approximately. For most of you, it's going to take just five minutes to download and install. So it's a small update. However, it's very, very important that you guys do it because this does fix a lot of things. Now, does it fix all the bugs? No, there's a bunch of bugs here that are just being fixed slowly. However, you guys will have to do this update. So I highly suggest having at least 50% of your battery, whether you guys have an iPhone, you still have to go into settings. You have to do the update from here. If you guys can't see the update for some reason, you guys can always hook it up to your computer, use iTunes, which is a free program, and just use that to update your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch, all right? Um, anyways, if you guys have any problems, let me know here in the questions. Right now, what's gonna happen, it's gonna install and it's gonna ask me, um, I'm sorry, it's gonna ask me if I want to install. So it's gonna download, right now it's downloading. Then it's gonna ask me if I want to install at this moment. I'm gonna tell it yes. And from there, we just have to wait. Um, it's just gonna restart the phone. All right, so it's gonna go to the black screen, white screen, Apple logo, loading bar, and then that's it. You guys can go right into your iPhone, iPad, or touch. So don't worry about that. Um, I always suggest having your iPhone, iPad, or touch hooked up to some electricity, even if you have 100%, for example, of battery, just in case. All right. So I don't want anything to happen. So if something happens when you're downloading the update, it's no big deal. Um, nothing will actually, it won't screw up your iPhone, iPad, or touch. However, if you guys are installing the update and something does happen, your iPhone, iPad Touch just turns off, then that's a problem. Okay, in that case, you guys will have to hook it up to your computer, use iTunes to restore. And as you know, restoring will delete everything that's on your iPhone, iPad Touch. So that's a problem for some of you if you didn't make that backup, which I told you to make just in case. Anyways, after we click on install now, it's just gonna restart and then Apple logo, loading bar, and then that's it. It's just gonna load up and you're done with your update. Again, this shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. However, I can see for slower iPhones out, out there. And if you have really slow internet, this could take up to 20 minutes. Anything past that, I would say something's going wrong or something went wrong. So after two hours of being there, you may have to restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.